More like evil bot. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate the support. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is recorded live on Twitch. And uh, you might get some things popping up on the screen every now and then. It might happen. It's, it's a thing. So, if you hear it, that's what it is. It's the people in Twitch being awesome. So, thank you for the support, man. I appreciate it. Okay, so right now we have, what? Uh, 20 out of 50. We can actually have more ants if we want to. But I need more nurseries for more ants. Which I think... Having no experience at all and going into this completely blind, um, I'm gonna still assume that I could probably want some more ants here. I'm gonna make a few more nursery spots. Like that. And then probably... Uh... What do you think? Should we... If I drill this way, then they have to... Actually, if we drill around them, like, maybe like this. Like that. If we do that, then they'll be able to get quickly around this nursery. So this nursery will like not impede their movement. We could also then dig a little bit more into this way and put some more nursery tiles here. So maybe we'll do that. Oh wait, these are these were food tiles. Ooh, never mind. Hang on. These were food tiles. The nursery tiles were down here. Yeah, yeah. We can expand this, actually. Um, let's go with... Uh, like that, maybe? Can we all spam Kappa? I guess you can, technically. The bot's not... The bot's not active anymore, so... We do have a couple of mods in the chat, though. I think. There are a couple of moderators. Krios is here, so... <laughs> you should watch the VODs before you watch the live stream. It's it's not super hard to explain. I will, like, maybe go into, like, some explanations as I go here. Um, just to kind of, like, so that you guys who haven't seen the videos on YouTube can not be completely in the dark. But, basically, we're an ant colony. Um, there's a couple of scientists that are observing us. Um, for, you know, biological test studies and stuff like that. Uh, these are nursery tiles. These are made to hatch the eggs for the ants. Uh, we're allowed to have as many ants as we have nursery tiles. And then these are food tiles up here, which I'm going to make, like, here, 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 and here. Uh, and when we have food gathered, when we're able to gather food, um, they'll put the food in the food tiles, and they'll be able to store it. So we have more storage for food now, and we also have a capacity for 50 as our population. Um, so uh, planting eggs or planting this stuff here requires resources like food. Food is kind of like your your broad currency, if you will. And um, I'm going to try and upgrade a few of these, I think. You can upgrade them. You see how the little circle fills in completely? Um, it says 8 out of 6, but um, if, you, if, you, if I click this, it'll upgrade this. And upgraded ants get additional benefits and bonuses, but I can only upgrade certain ones. Ones that are already surrounded by ants of the same... Like, they have to be surrounded by... I think it's like six or more is what it said. So I could use the food I have, and you see how I'm spending food? This is our food right here. Um, I'm spending food, and so... Um, once I run out of food, then I can't hatch any more eggs. If my ants die, I can't replace them. That's another big thing. Um, so you have to kind of manage your resources that way too. I'm actually going to make, I think I'm going to make like a little bit of a speedy, it doesn't matter. I think actually what I should do is go off to the next task. So once we run out of things to do on the base, and that might happen pretty soon, uh, there's also an outside, if you haven't seen it, there's an outside as well. And there's a ton of food out here, which is why I'm trying to expand the capacity for our food. It's because I'd like them to uh, gather resources. So I have, I've got a group of ants here. Uh, you can see this thing at the bottom, right? I've got a group of ants here that are kind of in charge of, like, pillaging all the stuff at the top. And then they're bringing it down to the to below. And then once we have increased food storage, which I'm actually going to upgrade these food tiles, because then they can store more food. I'll just upgrade all of them, actually. Tiles neighbors are not sufficiently developed. That's fine. So that increases our maximum food storage. So those ants are just going to keep going back and forth through here to grab that food and bring it down here. And I think it might be beneficial to go like this. 
and then make the speedy path through here, like that. There. Now we do have a limit to how many spaces we can dig out, and that is this number. This is our territory number. And right now I can only dig two more tiles, because I just don't have... I don't know. I don't know exactly why there's a limitation on how much I can dig. I, I just I don't know if it's an arbitrary thing or if there's a reason for it. Maybe it's just our queen isn't strong enough or something. I don't know. Um, but I can only dig two more tiles. So once I run out of things to dig, or once once I run out of places that I'm allowed to dig, I think I'm gonna dig one more this way. And put another ant in there. I have one more left I can dig. Let's do it here. I'll put another nursery tile here. Okay, so now I'm out. I can't dig anymore. I don't have the I don't have the territory to dig. I don't believe it's gonna allow me to do this if I click again. Yeah, okay. So now it's like I can't dig out anymore. I can't expand anymore. Um you know, I can't get I can get more food, but that's kind of a slow process. Maybe I could put these 24 to do it and keep these seven back home. So now I have all of these ants. Like, look at all of them. They're just gonna they're gonna flood up to the top, out of these holes. They're gonna flood up to the top, and they're just gonna take all this food and bring it down, which is where I want them to do it. Nice. I chose blue. You can choose your color. I chose blue. Okay, so we're gonna go out and do a mission now. This is not like the pace of the whole game, right? Because now I have to earn things. I have to earn enough resources to do things. So um, what I want to do is let's just upgrade these food tiles really quickly. There we go. Okay. In order to make your colony stronger, you have to choose these levels. And you have to do these levels. And when I did my Let's Try, I did a level. I did level one, which is which was a new home. I did that one. Now I can do this one. This is subjugation. I don't know exactly what that means. I guess we'll find out. So let's go. Uh, now this one says... So, this Pharmacofusca colony has been spotted by a nearby enemy colony with sinister intentions. You can choose a difficulty, and... I'm going to go with medium again, I think. Depending on how difficult I choose to do it, I get different amount of resources. So if I went a little harder, uh, I would get a little bit more resources. But I think the difficulty scaling, it's not worth those little extra resources. So we're going to try this with medium, I think. Okay, here we go. This Formica Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers establish their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica Sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Okay, I have no idea how difficult this is going to be, but I know there's food over here. So we probably want to dig this way. So if you if you didn't see the YouTube videos yet, um, Formica sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. No, I don't like the sound of that. So I can also go up this way if I want to and get this food. So the green is food. We need that to expand and grow our colony, and then the red are the threats. And we need to assess the threats, of course, and try to kill them. I think I'm going to build a nice little, like, nursery area here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what we want to do is get, I think, uh, let's do black ants here. Uh, along the, in here. Oh, I don't have enough food for that, really. Yeah, because it takes 50, right? All right, I need to expand my food storage then. Let's do that here. We'll dig this out. During the missions, you're able to dig as much as you want. It's free, so you can dig as much as you want. Oh, shit. Oh, Sigistria shit. Sigistria Florentina, a funnel web spider. No! She is large, fast, oh, what are you doing? and equipped with a deep, powerful Shh. bite. No! Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between trip wires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. I just lost like five ants. Stay away. No, no, don't go that way. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, new plan. No, the spider. Oh my god, you guys, get... Get the hell away. Get the hell away from the spider. Oh my god. Uh, no, get away from the... Ah, you guys. <laughs> no. Holy shit. So, like... These caves, right? Sometimes they're open. They're not all closed in. So it's like I saw the exclamation point. And I knew there was danger, but I didn't know that getting rid of that one tile would expose the whole area, and that's a risk. So like, if I this area here could be wide open, and it probably is because of all this food here. So digging here and here might just expose this. So you have to be careful of that. Oh shit. Um, can I even like what can I even do about that? Other than do nothing in that area. I think that's the only thing I can do is just do nothing in that area. This might be open too. Like, I don't know. This is going to be tough. Don't, please don't reveal this. I need this space really badly. Okay. I'm actually, this, this space right here should be fine. And so should this, that should be fine too. All right. I don't have a whole lot of food. I need to increase my food storage. So we're going to have to do that here. I think I'm going to make like the first half of this be food and then the second half of it be uh, our soldiers. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support great enough. Get away from the spider! Guys, get away from the spider. So we can't kill the spider, right? No, get... No! There's... It's the food. They're going after all this food. My ants just keep going after the... Ugh. Can we restart this level? Thank you. I'm gonna restart this level. I don't care. <laughs> I don't even care. That's that's unlucky. Okay, don't go in here. Like, look at all this. Ugh. No thanks. Uh, so I'm up, upping my food storage, which determines how much you know how much big my colony is. The more food we have, the bigger my colony can be. If that makes sense. So let's do that, and we'll do one more here, no, or not. As soon as we have 50 food, I'm going to. Because we need to start. We're gonna run out of food. And we're going to need to start, here we go, taking over other territory in order to get it. And I think I'm going to start with this. I don't know if this is going to be spiders again. That sounds really freaking broken and hard. But let's find out. I can dig a little bit more this way. Uh, no, don't do that. Shh. You can't cancel. Can't cancel. Can't. No. Ah. Couldn't cancel it. Oh, I, I think you cancel it by just clicking it again. I forgot about that. All right. Uh, so we have seven. The colony is starving. There's yeah. not enough food to feed the new brood. Okay, so my soldiers I'm going to put on line two. Uh, these are pheromones, so we can drop certain pheromones and attract certain types of ants in the pheromones. And I can swap them between different classes. So this is a way of like grouping ants together so that I can control multiple types of ants. So in this case, uh, this is level of the number two pheromone, I guess. And I've got my, I got my soldiers assigned to this. So wherever I put number two, that's where my soldiers are going to end up going. The soldiers won't dig, though, so I still need a worker to come in and dig. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? This is all Sigistria spiders? Sigistria Florentina, a funnel-web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped what? with a deep, powerful... Bite. What? Her lair is this carpeted is... by sheets what? of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. This is so broken. She can detect even the slightest vibrations <laughs> with her sensitive oh legs. God. No, get away. Get away. No, no. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Will be snapped no. away in the blink of an eye. Oh my god. Don't go that way. Go back this way. <laughs> this is really tough. Are you kidding me? Really? We're surrounded by spiders? This, this, this colony's doomed, man. Is this a spider too? Because if it is, I'm screwed. I'm, if I'm surrounded by it is a spider. The nest. The how do we, how do we kill this? Can we kill it? Go in there and kill it. Attack. Fight back, please. Fight back. Nope, it's not going to happen. By working together, <gasps> oh, the ants have overwhelmed Jesus, one did. of the funnel web spiders. Jesus. You won't be causing any more trouble for Holy the colony. Holy shit. Okay, sisters, we can kill however, them still present a problem <laughs> we can kill them they can be killed it's not easy but they can be killed oh my god is it worth a lot of food jesus look at this thing all right you know what army let's gather workers get away from there get away from there workers 
A sanguineous Stop. scout has sensed the presence of the black ants. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. Oh god. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young or wipe out the colony entirely. They're going to wipe In out the, the colony entirely. It will entirely. come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. It will it will not come down to that. It will come down to uh we will just die because <laughs> there's there's freaking spiders everywhere and our ants keep trying to come over here to get the food i need to kill these spiders off can we not use the spider as food hold on use the spider as food please can we get that can we haul this thing away uh yes i think yes okay that will count my god. Watching this stream was a mistake. Too many spiders. Yeah, I I'll tell you, if you if you have if you if you have a fear of spiders, um, this is not the stream for you. Um, I don't have a fear of spiders, so I'm fine. But like the fact that there are spiders, so many spiders around is a problem. Uh, maybe we upgrade instead of we can upgrade a couple of these guys. I don't want to go too low on the food here though. Twenty five is like really low we're not gonna be able to hatch very many and we're gonna have to go after another spider so i think i'm actually gonna go this way uh, and get the spider and see if i can get the spider um because we have nine nine military ants now and there's a lot of food over here that i really want to get so jesus this is this is this right here sucks though because there's two of them and this whole area opens up to the point where like there's two of them working together that's that's really hard we're not gonna be able to do that the raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. Where are they? Oh shit, they're right here. So this is like an enemy ants? Is this like another colony of ants that want to take over our territory? Is that what this is? I think so. The raiding party has left, and okay. with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The Fusca colony must replenish quickly if they are to survive the next assault. Yeah, well, that's a difficult thing to do. Uh, can we get this food scaven scavenged? Scavenged, I think is the word I'm looking for. Get this food, guys. I need to replenish this army and, and upgrade them like really quickly. Uh, we can upgrade this one and this one. And I think I'm going to do this one too. So the idea behind upgrading them is that they get more HP and they become stronger, and but they only get that way when you hatch them, I think. So um, when one ant dies, when one of our soldier ants die, they'll be replenished by one that's a bit stronger, provided, of course, they have enough food to hatch it. Um, I really kind of want to stay away from this area, but in the same sense, I need another... I need, I need troops, so I need soldier ants. Bad. This colony must remain small for now. Food. It's always 10%. The funnel web spider will pick up, carry home, and kill any creature that steps in its web. Creatures walking through the web are also slowed, making it difficult to reach the spider. Overwhelm them quickly. Yep. Slave makers will attack like ordinary creatures, but others will try to steal larvae from your nurseries. If these ants escape, the tile that they stole from becomes disrupted for a period of time and cannot re receive new eggs. You can see the health level of creatures by holding down the show creature info button. Ah, ah, there we go. Yeah, I like this, actually. Let's just keep that on. I like information. Information is good. Spider died at the entrance of the tunnel. Or the area where it spawned. Yeah, starve them out. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> starve them out. All right. Uh, we can get rid of this pheromone marker. Uh, I think we need to go... They're get... The raiding parties are getting bigger and bigger. So I think we need to expand this way. Cannot collect any more food. Well, that just means we have enough capacity for more ants, doesn't it? So let's go like this. We'll expand our army back this way, I think. So our army's going to stay by the door because they're clearly coming through here. So uh, army's going to stay by the door. Here they come. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. Come on. A battalion of slave makers hey, charge into the nest. What are we doing? Kill them. Is this... Yeah, they're they're not they're not gonna escape. They're totally not gonna escape. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Eat the dead. The it's raiding okay. party was no match for the valiant defenders. 
The brood remains safe. Good. Well, now. Okay, spider, we need to get in there. Let's go. Get in there. Get in there, guys. Go, go, go. Come on. Yeah, kill it. Kill it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. What up? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, keep digging this way. Ooh, are there three spiders in there? Are there really three? Like, come on. No way. There's something else over here. There's a group of three. I think these are all spiders. Because the spiders seem to, like, linger one at a time. But this group here, there are three. And I'm, like, not certain about that at all. I think I'm going to make another nursery here. If we can get to this food. Oh, actually, that's not that bad. We can get them. Get them. We can kill those. Those aren't that bad. Or they're stronger than they were before. I don't think they are, though. We're fine with that. Okay. Lots of food here. We're good. I can start building another army right here. Let's clear this out. Actually, let's not do that just yet. Um, clear this out and this out. Do I want more food or just more? I think I just want more ants. Do that. And then let's upgrade a few. That uh, we have we have the resources, so let's do it. Cool. So these are all getting upgraded. They'll all be stronger now, and that's good. Do we have 21 soldiers? Next raid is coming in, so let's go over here, guys. Come on, get in position, guys. Here we go. The next raid is coming right now. I like how there's a timer for the raid. I wish games wouldn't do that. I wish they would just, like, make me have to constantly prepare for there it. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. That's a lot. Can we kill them? We have stronger ants than they do. That's our that's our advantage right now is our ants are stronger than theirs. Because I keep upgrading them. So this is a disrupted nursery, right? Is that what that is? That little symbol? The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. It is only a matter of time before they return. Alright. We're gonna be good? Everybody play nice? Actually, we could do a more straight shot to this spider. We can start here. Let's dig this way. And we'll come in right here. We'll be closer to it instead of coming in the long way. We'll do the same thing to the spider here. We'll dig, we'll dig in right here. Okay, you guys ready? Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Let's do it. Come on. 13, 14 of you. Look at that. He's already getting cocky. He's all the way over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Where's my worker? The slave makers are back. Shit. They can sense larvae. Shit. And they want their share. No! My army's out of position! No! This is really bad news. Oh, this is bad, bad news. God damn it. All right. I need more. More troops. I need more soldiers all the time. I might need to split my army up, actually. Wish I knew how to do that. This is just a group of 24. I'm not sure how to split them up. Uh, let's make them stronger as well, if we could. The raiding party is left. And with them, they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. Only 10. The queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. Lay quickly, queen. <laughs> There's a lot of food here that can be harvested. There's like a lot. We could totally do that. Let's just cut all this out, please. Whenever you guys can. Whenever you get a chance. Here comes the raid. There is no respite from the culling. The sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. I hate how many there are. Like they, they replenish their numbers really really quickly. This is bad. I like how they just leave my queen alone. Like, where's my army? Where's my army? Are we just dead? Wow. I think we're just dead. Yeah, I don't have enough troops to handle this. Uh, I think we just die. Shit, that's hard. That is a really hard challenge. The queen is in imminent danger. Alright, I need to figure out what I can do differently. What can I do differently to make this happen? It's just not replenishing food. Like, I'm not replenishing soldiers. 
Yeah, she's gonna die. She's dead. All right, we need to find a new a new way to do this, a new solution for that. That's hard. The defending colony was weak and yeah. not worth the effort of a prolonged raiding campaign. Wow. Instead, the aggressors slaughtered their would-be hosts. They are now moving on. There are more lucrative opportunities to be found elsewhere <laughs> in the undergrowth. <laughs> it's like these guys aren't even worth looting. Let's just kill them. All right. Fine. So we end the level. And when the level's complete, now I feel like the volume, now I feel like the music is, the music is really loud in this game, so that's why, I like, I'm, I actually should just keep the volume here, but then uh, turn the music down later. But even though we failed, we still get some resources from it, and we can keep trying it over and over again to do it well, to do it well so uh, we shouldn't ever restart the level, we should just let it go. So now I got a little bit of resources for it, and we can try that level again if we want to, and I totally do. I'm going to choose the same difficulty, but I think we should choose th do things a little bit differently this time. Attack now. Quickly. Destroy. Okay, he's dead. Good. This whole area just got opened up, which is nice. We can get all this food now. We can just ignore these guys. Um, we can just grab this food here. And I need to ramp up security, like, big time. So I think we want bigger numbers. This colony must now. remain small for now. Gather food em. is too scarce to support greater numbers. Gather it up. Let's go. We need greater numbers, so... I don't want to hear excuses. I want to just see results. Let's go. <laughs> Cologne 1017 and Dakota Mullen. Thank you very much for the follows. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or you, uh, you want to chat at all, our community is very, very nice. We have... I'm so incredibly proud. Like... You have no idea. There's so many toxic Twitch colonies. Colonies? No. Communities. There's so many, like, places where Twitch is toxic, and it, this is not one of them, and I'm very happy about that. Alright. How about we cut... I can actually add a bit more food storage. We're actually over our limit right now, so... Let's do this, and then I want to... The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. It's like that. Yeah. I think our food storage location was fine last time. I think the the problem really came into having too few in numbers. So I am not going to have that problem this time. I would use all my resources on expanding the army and only spend it on other things when necessary. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, I haven't bought any workers. Um, the only thing I've been doing is upgrading is getting soldiers and then upgrading the soldiers. That's all I've been doing. There's that. Next raid's in 29 seconds. We have lots of food. We can upgrade one of these. But then we're going to run out of food. I don't want to get I don't want to get short on food. The army, charge in there. Come on, get them. Going after the damn larva. Spider's dead. Spider's dead. The Great Chuckle. Woo, a Charlie stream. I've missed them live to do work. Well, hey, man. Welcome. I'm going to be live for quite a while, probably for another four hours or so. So, uh, we're going to have lots of time together if you want it. Oh, shit. Raiding party. Here we go. Army, get over in position. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion oh of slave God. makers charge into the nest. Food stores are full. I like to see that message when we're fighting. Food stores are full. That's a great message to see. Let's get a more... Let's get a bigger army, shall we? We can actually expand this nest little area over here, too. The raiding too. party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. Shut up, that 10% nonsense. The danger nonsense. may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Yeah, I know. All right. So we've cleared this area out pretty well. We can go get this food, because this is food we can, you know. We need to eat all the food we have available. There's a bunch of food over here, and then there's a couple of spiders we can eat here, I think. So we want to do that. But there are intruders in the we've got nest. a huge army, and we're going to take all of them to that spider now. I'd like to split them up. It'd be good to split them up, probably. But in numbers, we all become much stronger. Like, that that spider took, what, two of us? Three of us? 
Look at all this. We can go this way with it. I'm just think I think we just clear these spiders as fast as possible. Because there's a lot of food here. Got a lot bigger army now. He's taking so many of them. Kill him. Thank you. Okay, he's done. Good, good, good. You should check your objectives in the top left. Build, upgrade ant workers. Oh. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I should actually look at that, shouldn't I? I think we just make this all this whole area. I know they get a speed penalty for having to walk through nurseries, but if I go like this, then they at least have a little bit of path they can go through a little bit. They can maybe make this speed area. I don't know. Probably not worth it. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, we, we defended them off pretty fast there. That was good. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. It's fine. We the can just upgrade the rest of our way. To return the colony to its former strength. No, not that. The one tile I click is the speed tile. That should be... Should be good, right? Pretty close. Yeah. We got a bunch of food down here we can get if we would kill this guy. You know? It's a good thing to kill. Anything else to kill? We can, we can go into here. It's a place to dig out. Where's this yellow area? I had no idea I had to make that many yes, workers. must defend themselves. That was, um... I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to it, but I, yeah, I should totally be paying attention to the objectives, not just defending the nest. Like, yeah. The objectives are the thing that's important, right? But I do appreciate the reminder for sure, because I have a tendency to forget things for sure, so... I get distracted by a lot of things. You know, it's way different. If you if you guys aren't streamers, or if you guys don't stream yourselves, it's take take and try it once, just just once, and you'll see. Like it's a way different experience streaming something than it is um, just playing it on your own. Your attention span is all over the place, and you have to like monitor. Like your your brain is so spread out that concentrating on a task is a little harder. This is why like a lot of people who stream. There um, is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. They're not even hardly getting in here. Hardly. Come on now. Kill them. Kill them all. Piece of cake. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. That's fine. We survived. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great black ant empire. Yes. Yes. The great black ant empire. All right, so we choose a reward, and, like, the extra food was nice. I'm kind of, maybe, it's only eight extra spots, but, like, the extra territory might be nice. The extra territory might be where I want to go with that. Or extra jelly. I think I might choose extra territory this time. It's only eight extra territory, to where the jelly is 20 extra jelly. I'm going to go with jelly. All right, so end the level. And we get all this stuff. Yay, nice score. I don't know if that's a nice score or not, but it's it's a score nevertheless. It's a score. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Oh, is it now? So, we do these levels and these objectives. Uh oh, are these... Are there enemies? Kind of, but not really. I mean... These are okay. They're not that they're not that hard to like. Like I could take these seven and bring them over here and tell them to go after that. Yeah, these things don't fight back. They're just food. We could just let them live. I'm worried though that letting them live will mean they like, I don't know, develop into something else. Maybe not, but But anyway, we do these levels, and then once we get the levels, we get rewards for those, right? And um 
when we get a food reward, for example, the the scientists they'll drop food in the in the nest, which is like what this is. They'll they're dropping it in the formicarium, and so like they're just like dropping it on the ground, and then the ants have to go and gather it and bring it down to their nest. Okay, so we have 21 on our territory now. What do I want to do with that? We have a decent little plot here of, uh, like, this is our food storage. We could upgrade these, which would improve food storage more that way. I do not want to do that. Uh, I want to do that. There we go. And then maybe we go this direction. We don't really have a whole lot going this way, so maybe we do. If we go, like... Can I make? I can't even make soldiers yet. Like, it doesn't give me the option to do that unless it's research. Ah, that's what it is. I need 75 jelly to get black ants. Is that what it is? Gene Thief Queen. Queens lay eggs for the colony and may have multiple species. Yeah, I think I need these. I think I want this ant. Yes, purchase. Okay, so I... I'd use the jelly to get that, and then maybe I can upgrade them right away to level two if I want to. Fierce mother. Interesting. Self-preservation drops below 40 health. Retreat for 0.5 seconds. That's a 0.5 seconds, huh? 150 royal jelly. A wood ant. Can Squirt acid at enemies from a distance. That sounds really useful. Shit. I think I'm going to go level 2 on these guys, though. Okay. So now I should be able to make... Yep, there's my soldiers. So let's go, like... Uh, I need somewhat close to the door so they can respond quickly. Mm, excuse me. Maybe over here. So they can respond quickly. We'll dig back this way. And maybe, like... Put, like, a hexagon... Kind of thing there that's probably a good idea one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good so we have the ability to do that cool and then we can make our nest in here we have a good amount of food for this but okay we have soldiers now that's good. At least the there's some army. Have raised their first Fusca ant. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple species within the same colony. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm going to upgrade a couple of these right away. Because we paid for it, we might as well do it. And then with these all upgraded, we could potentially get them level 3 if we want to later on, but at least we have uh, at least we have some sort of military to defend ourselves, you know? That's good. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I think as far as the YouTube video goes, um, you know, I'm going to leave this I'm going to leave this episode here. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and stuff. And uh, well, you going to go back to working on your D&D &D character? Good. You need to crazy. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you guys next time on YouTube. So we're going to keep playing here. See ya. Bye.